Hey, I'm Brian Passane, that comedian guy, and you're watching Moron Life, because you're a moron. Ah, just kidding. Hey guys, what's up? Lon here. I'm here with uh, Brian Pussain. We're looking at his new comic, The Last Christmas, for Image uh, Comics. And uh, Brian, if you could tell us just briefly, give us a quick synopsis on what the book's all about. It's uh, the tale of Santa Claus after the apocalypse. It's sort of him dealing with uh, the world ending, and uh, he fights zombies and saves a little kid that still believes in him. So. Excellent, excellent. So where, okay, so of course, you know, your comedy reflects a lot of your influences too, but where, where do you think was your, your biggest influence from this? This book. My biggest influence, uh, THC, no, <laughs> that had a little bit to do with this idea. It was just basically, I, I always love like how, when Tarantino does things, not to say that I'm on that level at all, but I love how he always draws from like everything he grew up on, you know, like you see one of his movies and there's like a million references to everything he ever liked, you know what I mean? And that was something that me and my friend Jerry that wrote this together where we were just like, we love Mad Max, we love the old Clint Eastwood westerns, we love, uh, you know, there's uh, there's definitely Road Warrior in this, there's definitely uh, Outlaw Josie Wales, that Eastwood film, a um, little bit of Unforgiven, there's Apocalypse Now, there's all these things that we love that we just threw into a blender. I think which is where the great ideas come from, is where, where you just take, you know, all your inspirations. And now, was this originally supposed to be a comic, or were you hoping to do, like, a screenplay with it? I'm a screenwriter, primarily, so we wrote it as a movie, and it went around town, and people loved it. They loved the script, but they couldn't get behind spending $80 million on a Santa Claus film where he kills zombies. You know, they just ultimately couldn't sell that to their boss. And... Jerry and I love the idea, and we love comics. And we had been talking about, I'd been talking about doing a book in D.C. years ago, and I wanted to be, you know, to do something for fun in this world. And this just sort of came about. Like, we were, we had this script, and we were like, we should just get Rick to draw it. That's Rick Remender right there. And uh, let's just do this ourselves, and let's do it through Image. We'll put up our own money, we'll pay for the artists and then we own it forever and if somebody wants to make a movie from it they gotta buy the rights from us so uh... and what's fan response been so far? fan response has been amazing and uh... the response from stores we've heard that we've sold out in a lot of places and people have been really supportive and cool and, and uh... i think they you know it's not a lot of people know me from the other world from comedy but they know that i'm a fan and uh... you know i think i've I've been real good at kind of maintaining this uh, reputation as still somebody who loves the same shit that they love, and I think that helps. Now, did your love of metal have anything to do with uh, any of the content here? There's, uh, there's a Grim Reaper reference at one point. Uh, somebody throws up the horns and says, See you in hell, my friend, which is a classic Grim Reaper song. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, even if there's no heavy metal in it, you know, I've got the metal and horror connection, and, and you know, I think most people, I, I wouldn't say generalize, but a lot of horror fans are also heavy metal fans. I think there is like a big crossover, and that's always going to be there. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for talking to us, and I uh, appreciate it. And uh, all you guys out there, make sure you check out The Last Christmas. You can pick it up comic stores, or can they see you uh, online? Can they pick it up anywhere? Yeah, well, it's, it's definitely... Uh, it's at Amazon still, okay. so yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll find online. Yep. Thanks a lot, Brian Pusey.